bolus and all that. And then you're going to do is a, it's, they call it a piggyback, or I don't know what the hell they have it written on the thing. Piggyback. So you'll take a, either a 500 bag or a 250 bag, depending on what they have that day, uh, what they have there. Um, the old school, like, way is 500 bag. Four milligrams per ml, two grams and 500, four milligrams per ml. Um, they, in the 250 bags, it's uh, one gram, and it, was a, it would be four or eight. In the 250? Yeah. It's supposed to be uh, one gram in a 250, two in a 500. Right. So you just, if you have this in a 500 bag, two grams of 500, you just divide it in half. So a 250 bag would have one gram and uh, two milligrams per ml. So I always use a uh, micro drip set. I'll oh, use one right here. Is that a good one? How will yeah. the lighter we use for us? Yeah. For the Just use that bag. That's the standard one, anyway. Alright. So that standard bag here is this a? It's a. It's 500 yeah, ml. Yeah. So this standard bag here. So you know, we'll, we'll we'll just learn this way, and if they do it this way, <laughs> um, we'll make sure that either this is out or. It adds up when you go to. So I'll have the infusion. Now, we're not going to have this bag in the state test. You're going to have to piggyback. You're going to have to inject it in. So you're going to get a thing like this, lidocaine, uh, 2 grams, and 10 mLs. So you'll have to, um, so it'll give you 2 grams and 10 mLs. So what do we have to, to shoot? Say this is a regular saline bag or a dextrose bag. Two grams and ten mLs. How much are we going to put in the bag to make it an infusion bag? Ten mLs. Yeah, so you're going to take a ten mL syringe, draw up ten mLs out of this, inject it into the bag, gently mix, don't, gently mix, and make sure we have a, a micro set, this is a macro, and we have our bag here, that's set up. What we're going to do is we're just going to go to the closest port on the top, and this, this just has to be higher than that, it'll be piggybacked, it just has to be just a little bit higher. Um, so it'll come in there and it'll run in. So what we'll do is you'll infuse it in, so it'll be set up like this bag, 2 grams, 500 ml, 4 milligrams per ml, just like here. So they're going to say, um, Either one, two, three, or four milligrams per minute is what they what you're ordered. So if we have, you know, we have like a clock here, 15, 30, 45, 60. So for one milligram a minute, it's going to be 15 drips uh, per minute. So you just got to make sure it's one drip every how many seconds? Uh, how many? Uh, one drip every how many seconds? Yeah, one drip every four seconds. So, so we see they ordered two milligrams a minute. It'd be 30 drips. One drip every two seconds. You know, three milligrams and so etc. They're, they're gonna give you something easy. They're gonna say four. Or they're gonna say two. So you're just gonna mess around with it and see if it's there. You know, you know, count out one, two, three, four. If you got a drip, one, two, three, four, whatever. So we're not um, using it. We're not getting a bag. You're not getting a bag. You're just going to get a basically a bag you're going to inject into. You're going to get you're going to get a multi-dose vial, a syringe, and inject it into the bag, and you're just going to have to know this. You can we the, remove? Like, let's say we have 500 ml bag. Can we remove 10 ml before we put in the 10 ml of lidocaine? You can if you want. There's going to be extra room in it anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to, because like, look at this bag. This is a, this is a 250. There's a, there's a ton of room in that. It, it's not going to matter much. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. That makes sense. So if those 250 you inject 